Hey everybody, Randy Kurtz here for Bass Musician. So last month we had talked about different instruments and uh, different ways to approach these instruments from an injury prevention perspective. Uh, we had done the jazz bass, so this month I would like to talk about the P bass. Uh, the P bass uh, is kind of the industry standard and the jazz bass uh, came along a little later and refined that model, uh, making the nut a little more narrow and the neck a little uh, more slender and tapered and not club-like. Uh, the P bass has had several different types of neck shapes, but essentially they all are wider and thicker and one needs to navigate them a little bit differently. So this P bass, is an example of an early 60s model and again different shapes uh, vary the diameters of the necks etc etc but essentially you're talking about a thicker neck here uh, when you grab this neck or uh, uh, approach this neck grab might be the more uh, appropriate word you are really putting your hand up there and you've really got something. You're not conforming to this nice slender neck. You've got a handful there. And when you are playing, you need to keep that in mind accordingly. So a lot of players, especially on the P bass, and again, uh, there's different factors such as hand size, which certainly come into play, uh, not to mention the pressure that we're placing on the strings and the fretboard and the action uh, and all the different variables that go into it. But simply from a matter of size, when you are playing this instrument and you're playing up here in the sort of money positions uh, what happens is a lot of times players uh, need to keep their thumb more up towards the top the traditional keeping it in the middle uh, which is taught uh, fairly regularly i believe and uh, which works in most cases, doesn't really work so hot with the P bass, I find, because what happens is, again, you're just trying to hold on for dear life in some case and be able to get from top to bottom here. And what happens is you grab and you push and it's even more conducive to pressing and gripping very tightly if you're trying to hold this big neck in your hand and, uh, and maintain that sort of position. So I'm a big advocate of really moving the thumb around. Uh, as we've talked about last month, uh, meaning when I'm playing uh, towards the G or towards the E, allowing the wrist and the thumb to move along with it accordingly. And again, you'll see a lot of players uh, tend to have the thumb up like this where it looks almost like it's over the top of the neck, or in some cases it is over the top of the neck, and again, can be used to fret notes uh, as one wishes. But to have uh, that thumb a little more free uh, on the P-Bass model, I think is a good idea, uh, based also on what we talked about last month with the jazz bass. Same sort of issues as you go up the neck, uh, when people talk about their approach to playing, uh, some famous, some not so famous, they talk many times about how going up the neck you need to play with your thumb like this and never change, or you need to not play with your thumb like that and never change. And the truth is it's a dynamic thing. As you go up the neck and the positions change, you need to change uh, in order to remain uh, injury and pain free, uh, your hand a bit to accommodate to. So just like on the jazz bass, when we get to about fret nine, what happens is this thumb starts to jam up a little bit more because you're asking it to perform a different task than you were up here. It's actually a little easier on this P bass to play in the ninth fret because we're not talking so much about constraining that thumb in the middle of the neck, maintaining that position that we talked about so that when we do get down here, it's almost uh, because that neck, uh, excuse me, because the thumb is a little more free, uh, easier to play. Again, when we start to get towards the heel, 
uh, sometimes that can also become a problem and you can bring the thumb around. Uh, but I find because this neck is more uniform from uh, top to bottom thicker and uh, right from the get-go, that's the hardest spot to navigate and it actually seems to get easier to play as you go down. So the things to keep in mind again, uh, thumb position, which I advocate a more free thrum, uh, uh, not a free thrum, but rather a free thumb so that one, again, doesn't uh, end up gripping and grabbing and really uh, pressing too tightly and, and hurting oneself. Uh, a couple other things to think about, certainly the shoulder. When we're talking about moving from top to bottom and turning the wrist and the thumb along with it, the, the shoulder, a lot of times, one will feel like they need to move that too. Uh, it's almost as if it's uh, a move with the music kind of thing, or sometimes because one is playing differently, they wish to accentuate that. Uh, so they kind of give it one of these, kind of like, uh, you know, when you play your favorite lick and you go like that, it's almost like that because you're kind of, oh, I'm playing like this now, and your body wants to get it into muscle memory and register it. So your shoulder tends to move up and down along with the wrist and the thumb, not necessary. Also good to keep the elbow closer to the body when playing rather than keeping it out like that uh, in which way it can become fatigued. So what I'm trying to point out is the differences between this P bass and the jazz bass that we played uh, and talked about last month and also the fact that when you're playing uh, it's about the wrist and thumb position a lot and then everything else sort of falls into place. If you're moving your shoulder or your elbow to accommodate one rigid position rather than keeping that wrist and that thumb a little more fluid, uh, that can be a problem too. So we'll talk about multi-stringed instruments next month. Randy Kurtz signing off. Uh, I will be at the ISB convention in Ithaca, uh, International Society of Bassists, on the 8th, giving a presentation, uh, Ithaca College in uh, New York. Uh, so if anybody happens to be there, please stop by and say hello. Uh, always available at drkertz at drkertz.com. My book, The Bassist Guide to Injury Management, Prevention, and Better Health, available from my website uh, as an ebook or uh, physical. Until next time, Randy Kurtz signing off. Thanks for watching.